Welcome. In this video we're going to see if we can create a more interesting gradient than the traditional ones of uh, radial and linear gradients. Now in order to do this we have to employ what is called a gradient mesh. And a gradient mesh allows you to warp and distort an existing gradient. You can customize uh, the opacity, the um, blend mode of the gradient, and make the values change more like a regular raster graphic. Now, to do this, I'm going to start with this pattern to complete file, which is uh, one of the documents um, I created using one of the other projects here during the semester. And I'm going to lock layer one. Well, first let's select the um, main square and I'm going to copy it and then lock layer one, make a new layer, and I'm going to do a uh, pasting in place, which is a shift control V or control shift V. Now, I did that because I wanted to affect this one below and I wanted to show you how we could use an existing shape and modify it to make the shape look even better. So, this item right now is selected and if you go up to object you find this option called create gradient mesh. When you do this it's going to present you with um, maybe the preview might be on or off but if you check preview you're going to see that turns everything well in my case it's turning black because that's the color that my um, thing was on uh, and basically it separates it into four rows and four columns and depending on how many you choose here you're going to have more customization within the gradient itself okay the more simple the gradient the less of these you have to adjust you can also adjust the appearance to be flat initially to center or you can make it to the edge so in my case I'm going to leave it to flat okay and I'm going to click OK so this uh, item is made up of all these different points and when you mouse over them with the black arrow tool you can actually move the entire object but if you use your uh, direct selection tool and you change to where you're on top of one of these what you can do is recolor one so I'm gonna click on the middle here and you notice now my appearance panel comes up and it gives me a mesh point I can choose my mesh point by clicking it here so I can make it green for example I can make it red for example and it's gonna blend towards the black over here which is in on this color over here I can maneuver this into different positions so you can kinda of see it the red moves over All right you can uh, change the way they but they move you can see how that stretches out my red okay now you can also adjust more than one point at once if you use your lasso tool you can lasso a given region so this is this entire row and change all of them at once alright and uh, you can you can also click off of that and then click again and I'm gonna click this little bottom one here there we go and we're gonna make this one be yellow mm, interesting all right, kind of a fiery look. Uh, you can stretch out each of these in various directions. So I can grab the whole section if they're all selected. You see that? You can also click off and then grab them individually and have them warp different ways. So you can kind of see how that's creating like a, a cool S curve adjustment there. So, um, you can also adjust the opacity of these. Now, I want you to see if I use the um, lasso tool again and select this region here, when I go to adjust its color, um, I'm going to make it be a red. And then what I'm going to do is change their opacity to a lower value, make them transparent. Now, I want you to see that, all right right here it's blending from this red and it's blending nicely to transparent but over here on these two which I haven't selected yet they're still black I'm kinda of blending through gray so it's best to not just hey select a color and say um, let's see I'm gonna select 
this one here red to black. I'm going to select this one, and I'm just going to make that one's opacity zero. You might get some grays in there, so instead, make it the color you want. You see, and then change it. So um, make them the color you want, and then adjust their uh, gradient. I'm going to make these ones light yellow, and then I'm going to adjust their opacity down as well. All right, so um, I got this kind of a weird shape right now, and obviously you can do a lot more. You can add points to this, so if you wanted to add points to this, all you do is um, go over to the mesh tool, and when you click in here, it's going to create another section of lines, and you can then adjust those as well. Let's see, I'm going to make this one go up, and we'll make it be uh, white. Yeah, so that's going to look kind of weird. All right, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to try and just play with adding some color on top. And when you're done, I want you to realize you can also click on it. This is the entire mesh itself. You can go to its opacity and change its blend mode as well. Let's see if I can do that here. Oh, wait, I was on my, I need to be on my black arrow tool. So, yeah, so get on my black arrow tool, and you see how you have the entire mesh listed here in the opacity. And then you can change your option to overlay or to lighten. You see how that's how that's making uh, a different effect on my item, as well as um, let's see what else. Color burn. Ooh, interesting. Weird. Um. So anyway, you can adjust the blend modes of sections as well. So it's like you're giving yourself another facet to play with um, when coloring your sections of your face. So work on playing with this one and see if you can integrate a gradient mesh into your design.